about so let's go and I love how as you go through the game uh, you can uh, change the way the story works in so many different ways which is really cool okay now what do we got downloads I what downloads is ah quantum break episode Wow, 75.61 gig. That is massive. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's the options. Ah, okay, there we are. Actually, controls. Looks pretty well something you'd normally see in most shooters, which is going to help. Okay, audio. Ah, that's that disabled copyright music. Okay, I'll put that on. Okay. Brightness. Okay, it's pretty basic. But uh, it's good, it's got the streaming option. Okay, we got a new game. What do we got? Oh, I'm gonna have to play it on hard. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but well, not so much. How did okay. it make you graphically? Feel? It's not too bad. It has a Paul. slight grainy texture to the graphics. I don't know if that's the game engine, um, but it doesn't look too bad. It's convincing enough. I've played games from Spec Ops The Line to Mad Max to, um, can't remember the last game, that wasn't too good. But you don't always rely on the graphics to tell a good story, and, uh, this doesn't look too bad anyway. I guess I should go find Paul. Everything seems to have a clear texture. Good morning. Yeah. But during, I think when you're in l really bright light, it. Whatever you want. It oversaturates things a bit. Okay, looks pretty good. At least convincing enough. Um. Don't want you to. Oh, you're not going to do that now. Up against the pole. There you go. There you go. Looks pretty cool. Okay. The lighting effects look quite cool. And check out this. Paul. Jack. You just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear you. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Every now and again, you'll see something indicated like this. Hey, um, it's Bobby Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. Check it out. Ends up being an report. object. Right in the midnight oil. Lists. 
But now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protest's over. At home. Not why I'm here, Chief. Holster that safety whistle. Prick. Asshole. Okay. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> he needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a... First class, thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing that Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but... Uh, if Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. The I facial animation is uh, quite on. good. He's going to it's quite change convincing. the entire world. Uh, Especially when you know the character really exists. The presentations on the horizon. Or the actor, I should say. I... What is all this? The future, Jack. You are put a lot of detail into the game. Our time. Um, everything it's looks impressive, but reasonably the convincing. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. Pushes stuff out of the way that's hell? floating in there. This is crazy. Will! Will! Lighting in the game is, is quite cool. Uh, they've done a really, really good job at it. Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. No! Jeez, this game's like a cross between the Matrix. Ma uh, Max Payne. Jack. In my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is out. Shh, you... Are you okay? I think so. Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me.
A rag doll, anyone? <laughs> were growing. I started to sense things, premonitions, echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. Looks like once you get used to the controls, you can really uh, play it like a shooter if you want to. Uh, quite a good uh, good way in. Um, this is only the first level. I'm starting to get really used to uh, where to shoot. To me, it kind of reminds me of Spec Ops: The Line. Where the controls are all right, just not fantastic. I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. I hope to God I'm not too late. But that's something clicked. I could. Reach out and stop time in a focused area. Help me. You don't know what you're doing. Well, fuck. I'm just gonna lie about Will. Fast. Visual. I swear to God, if you hurt him. Who do you think you are? Control. Civilian. Move up to flank! No! 
Gotta get to the library. This is once a library. Um, yes, the shooting is a bit glitchy, and the character movement is as well. But um, I'll probably say I would definitely buy this game. I'd give it a good eight, eight and a half out of ten. Uh, if you enjoy Max Payne, say that one of the Matrix games, you enjoy sci-fi. I find the story, at least for me, is, is fine. I love B-grade sci-fi, so this is uh, fantastic for me. Uh, the shooting and the movement can be a bit glitchy, but once you get used to it, I've played worse. So I'll say 8.5 out of 10, and I would say get this game. I've enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys later. Bye.